Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Soul Calibur 4. Last time we played as Killick, and he was kind of a different ending that I wasn't a big fan of as I was hers. Because hers was a love story. Her, his was just a lonely path on staying alone. So we're going to go with the Beast of Destruction Astroth and see what he wants. Like he, So far he's been shown as like a killer and stuff like that. So let's see what this is all about. When he learned the truth of his origins, that he had been modeled after a frail human, it shook Astroth to his core. He unconsciously fought against the fact for some time afterward, until he found the human and ne nearly tore him apart. But then, everything inside him turned inside out. He finally gained an awareness of himself. Until now, he had been at the mercy of his master the god of destruction, and done his bidding. That made him, him see, see his rage. Fer, ferocious, ferocious thoughts seized him. Astroth swung his axe wildly, and by the time he relented, the landscape had been changed. Irre... Oh, I can't even speak. Irrevocably. As Astroth continued his barbaric... Barities, a girl calling herself Tira, appeared before him with counsel. Come if you seek the power to hunt a god. I know a more fitting place. It was clear to him she was Soul Edge's servant. He only sought to use him, but it was tr the true he needed richer pastures from which to reap souls. Guided by e e Ebon Wings, Astroth set foot in Orenstingberg. Just as he had years ago, once again he entered Nightmare Service, pretending to obey while waiting for the chance to seize his power. This time, however, he had a different purpose, and no soul but his own command commanded him. But let the fools descend upon Ornstingberg. Their souls will be mine. I will devour everything, including Soul Edge itself. Wow, I could not read! Okay. Give me like a little bit of time after a video and I can't read whatsoever. It's very surprising. Especially when it comes to like some words that like I haven't seen before. <laughs> that I probably do say but then again I don't know how to like if I see it. Like I know how to say it but I see Only it. Only spell. Time to slaughter. Watch what you say Thurman. Stage start. Plus, I always, whenever I see a word I don't know, I always have to pronounce it and then try to like remember how to pronounce some words sometimes. It's just a way of learning that I had through life. Like, I had to learn how to read differently than most people because of how I view the world with my sight. It's very, very weird. I might explain it in like future videos, or I already have. I, I'm not 100 sure, um, but yeah. Oh, geez. Whoa! I can actually make people go the opposite way. That's actually quite awesome. Come on! Whoa! So his melee attack is pretty uh, neat, I guess. I, I don't know how how I want to put it. Bring out. Wrecked. Oh my god. Stay Even in droves, they're still too weak. I didn't even give her a chance. I just knocked her straight off. Okay. Who will now act as... Oh. Well, that's awesome. I have a secondary uh, person. Stage 2. Betrayal. Okay. Oh, I guess we're finally betraying... Uh, nightmare. That's awesome. Let's see what uh this has entail for us then. Come on, hurry up, load, load time. I know you're messing Only with me. Only those I will destroy you all. But naughty children must be punished. <laughs> Stage start. You're crazy. <laughs> Whoa! I give you a plus for that, but. Jeez. Come on. Now the one problem I do have with Astro though is the fact that he's really slow. Oh. It's kinda hard to like 
fight with him too. I mean, it's kind of like playing as Ashley Wet again, and I had a lot of problems that I actually did talk about her in the video, and it's something I really do not like. And it's just the fighting style of them are just both horrendous, in my opinion. Like, I mean, jeez, I'd rather play as uh, this character than uh, Astra. Or better yet, give me, like, a different character. I mean, I would be fine with anyone except Astra. I mean, seriously, it's very, very awful, in my opinion. This guy keeps stabbing this guy. Oh, jeez. Come on, we got this. Come on. Oh, what did I just do there? Wait, what did I do? Did I just charge up something? Or Okay, now he's just doing poses just to irritate me. Is that the best you can do, you stupid fool? That's kind of rude, Astaroth. You don't just say that. Don't call someone stupid. It's always rude, no matter how you want to view it. Even if they are stupid. Don't ever call someone stupid. It's rude. Okay, so... Okay, this makes a little more sense why Astaroth's fighting Ashlette, because Ashlette is here to destroy Astaroth. Stage wow, she doesn't even have special commentary. She's literally fighting someone she was programmed to actually fight. I feel like some special commentary should have been made. Like, I mean, seriously. Oh, shit. Okay. No, no, no. Come on. You're fucking kidding me. I am not going to deal with this. I mean, seriously. I love how she just has like a tiger voice. I mean, jeez. Stage completed. Filthy maggots. Okay, nice pose. I'll just say that. I get it. You're a big tough guy and you're trying to flex them muscles just to show off to the ladies. But come on. We're going to do this. Come on. So we're going against Maxi, who I know Maxi hates Astroth for kill killing his friends. Huh. I've sacrificed everything for this moment. Shut up, you maggot. Man, Stage he sounds like, start. like a soldier or something, Astroth. Calling everyone a maggot and all that. Like, I mean, jeez. Like one of those very... Stereo eh, stereotypical uh, soldier villains. I mean, seriously. There's Ivy. I haven't fought you uh, as often as I uh, thought I would. Actually, we're, we're going to be playing as Ivy in the next video, which is very nice. Um, and I'm very excited to explain a little bit on her because... Oh, shit. Because I do know a little bit on her backstory, too. So that's actually pretty nice. There we go. So yeah. Vile beast. That's kind of rude, don't you think? Fight. Oh shit! I didn't see I could power it up. Oh, crap. There we go. Plus, we won that one. I'll just stomp her in. Such beautiful screams. Wow, he really is a just a just into the murder thing. I mean, Jesus. Oh, he's not even going against Nightmare. I would expect him to go against Nightmare of all enemies, not Algol. Okay. Guess that's the thing now. Okay. I will destroy any that stand in my way. Shut up and give them to me. I'm Stage guessing he means start. souls, but I don't. I don't even know. Oh Jesus! 
Oh, come on, just win this, Astroth. I, I know I'm not gonna win this. I, I already know. I suck with Astroth. Come on. Come on, we got this! Oh, come on, we got this. Just wreck him. Just wreck him already. I hate his blocking, though. He should uh, have that broken by now, but I guess, uh, I guess not. Come on! I'm not playing on hard or anything, I'm just playing on the normal difficulty. Oh my god, imagine if I was playing this on hard, it'd be ten times worse. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what his ending has in store. I'm very curious. Your power exceeds that of my own. I am impressed. Ooh. <laughs> so this is the power of Soul Edge. No, it's not enough for me. I need more. So he didn't even go after the power of Soul Calibur? Kinda weird. Give me more. I want more. His evil spread throughout the world it is a roar that announces the beginning of the Dark Ages. Ooh, so we're going back to the Dark Ages. Okay, well that's a thing. All right, well, uh, I guess that's how Astro's story ends, I guess. I thought, it, like, he was, like, gonna get, like, destroyed or something, but I guess not. Okay, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the next part we're gonna be playing is Ivy, like I said in the video, so if you guys enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out the Facebook and Twitter. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time.